What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to show you how you can take your wax balance and how you can send and transfer it to Binance so then you can transfer it into your bank account. So uh, when we release, when they released the NFT drop for the Transformers I wasn't really into them so I kind of just bought 8 packs and just sold off what I wanted and I've managed to accumulate $913 which is pretty decent because all I wanted to do was collect the royalty set for this which is uh, the bumblebee which is dressed as Freddy so let's just get back on you only need two things open when you do this you will need your wax wallet and you will need your Binance open and that is literally it so if you go into your wax wallet here uh, as you will see uh, you've got the balance here of what you want to be able to send it to Binance you just click as simple as anything just click send and then you click on wax P because that's all we've got in there and to do the amount, I've already got it preloaded. We've got 21027. That's what we're going to just do for now because I don't want to send that large amount at the moment. We'll just do it in intervals because if you did do it in small intervals, then and you do lose some of it. At least you won't lose the whole chunk of what you've actually managed to save up. So as you can see here, we're going to get $57.27. And then you click on Next. And it wants you to enter your WAX account and it wants you to put the memo. The memo is very, very important when you are sending money from your WAX account. So let's go over to Binance because we're done in there for a moment. So what we need to do is we need to bring our wallet up. So if we go to buy or deposit crypto, that should show our wallet up here in a moment. Just waiting for it to load. It's a little bit slow when I'm recording, so you just have to bear with. So there you go, so there's the wallet. So you click on the wallet and you go to fee and spot. And then that should load up. And we'll just wait for that to come and then what we'll do is we'll show you how you create, create yourself an address for you to send your money to. Because that's going to be the way to do it. So we're just waiting for that to load through. So once that's all loaded up and in place, we'll be able to show you what's next. So as you can see here, it says uh, search the coin. So it wants us to search the coin. This is what we want. We want the wax P. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be depositing it because we're going to be depositing wax P into this Binance. So you want to go to deposit. And as you can see here, it will say coin is wax. And then it says network is wax. Both address and memo are required. So we know that because I said that the, uh, the memo is you know, very important in this stage. So you press OK, and then as you can see here, it says where your address and your memo is. So you want to press copy. Don't copy and paste it. Just click copy because then you won't get it wrong. You just need to go between the two, and then you just go to paste. And then with your memo, you want to make sure you get this right because this is your unique address to send your money to. So if we go in here, and we say paste, and then as you can see, that is that. So 104658429. And then you've got 104658429 there. So that's that. And then you go back onto here and then you go to next. And then you'll see in a moment, it will just say to you, transaction successful. So it's now sent that money. So if I refresh this, we should just have 3,000 wax balance and not 320127. So there you go. So we will start sending this over in a moment. But just for the purpose of the video, I just want to show you how you can get it deposited. So once you've done that, uh, it will take a little bit of time for it to come through. So as you can see here, it's showing that we have um, a deposit coming through and it says it's completed. And that's for one we did uh, as a tester. So what we need to do now is now that that's all created, we just need to wait for it to come through. So we'll just wait for that to come and then we'll talk about how to deposit into the bank. All right, guys, once your transaction is completed, as you can see here, I went to wallet and then I just went to overview. Just click on it again just to show you. And it does take a little bit of time to say completed. So you just want to make sure that that's come over and it is actually complete before you move on to the next stage because the worst thing you can do is that it isn't in there and you won't be able to move it. So as you can see, we did the 20127 and it says on here that it is around about £50.46, which is okay. Uh, the What we need to do now is we need to get, obviously, the, the wax money 
we need to transfer that now into money as in like great british pounds what we ended up buying it with in the first place so uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it you can go to trade up here and do it the classic way and i'll just give you an example of how this works because a lot of people get confused with this but what you need to know is that you can't just transfer wax back into great british pounds because it doesn't work that way this might seem a bit confusing but it is actually pretty simple all you need to do is go into your search here and when you're in here, if you just try type in GBP, then what that will do is that's Great British Pounds. And that will show you the cryptocurrency that you can transfer that from. So this is what you need to do. You need to turn your wax into one of these cryptos. So then you can convert it into Great British Pounds. So that's what you need to do to be able to you know to be able to get what you want so now we know that we can use ust uh, dt or busd uh we've got all of those that we can transfer to and then what you can do now is just type in your wax because you do have wax and then you'll see that your wax can only transfer over to btc which will can we can turn into great british pounds and usdt or busd or bnb as you can see these can be converted into the great british pounds but we'll stick with maybe like the ustd but if you want to just check what your money is kind of worth then you just need to go down to here so here you buy stuff and then this one you sell so obviously we want to be selling uh, the wax which you can see so because we've got the wax in there we need to select what one so if we just said for instance wax to btc we don't have to do it straight away we click down here and then we just take the total amount of wax all the way to the top and that will give you an idea of how much you'll get so 233 wax and it's going to give us that much btc but if you want to know what that is in usdt you just click on there and then you just whack the amount of wax all the way to the top again so if we take that up there you can just click on the end as well and then it shows you here that we'll get 66089 of that so if we sold the wax now that's what we would get for 233 so if we just say so we'll just go to sell so that it's done limit sell order fulfilled and then well, that should now have converted right guys now that the transfer is complete what we need to do is you just need to go down here and have a look so as you can see here i've just done the conversion rate so if you just put in gbp there and you can put in gbp to usdt which is what we transferred it to as you come down you will see you can do it this way so you can either type in here you know the total amount so this is how much us DT we have and obviously we want to buy GBP which is Great British Pounds because we want to convert it to that because we're not selling the Great British Pounds we want to receive the Great British Pounds so if you went to maximum we could transfer it now and get 50.2 GBP and then that will give us 50 pounds into our wallet to withdraw back into our bank account there is another way of doing it so you could just press that button down here and that will convert it because it'll buy great british pounds so i'm just going to just go over and show you in just two seconds so we're going to go to wallet again um just to go back to the overview just so you can see it and then we're going to go show you there's a simpler way on here to do it as well so you saw how much money we would get if we converted it anyway and just want to go on here just so you can see that it's in there under the usd so so there we go so it says that we've obviously made the deposit and then we've now obviously traded it so if we go to trade and we go to convert on here it will ask us what we want to convert so we've got usdt here just let it load because it usually takes a minute or two and then as you can see this is this is a lot easier and a lot and a lot better way of doing it so can we do great british pounds so there you go great british pounds there right so as you can see it's got usdt here if you click on max it will show you that preview conversion it only lasts a certain while uh, the, the conversion but as you can see it's 50.137
So in, then you can convert it. It was like 50.2, wasn't it, a second ago? Because you think crypto is constantly changing. So as you can see, it says 15.1379715 GP. So that's another way you can do it. But uh, So then say convert. So it's already gone down to 50.13. So we didn't press convert in time, but it's okay. We'll just wait for it. So just keep refreshing it until you're ready. So convert. There you go. So it says complete personal verification, activate fiat service. There you go. So it says start. By processing, you agree to the digital wallet terms and condition. So say start again. You may now start trading with fiat on Binance. So okay. Right. So we just need to refresh one more time and convert. So we're converting that into there. So successful, you have spent your USDT. So you say view status. Looks like we just had to do a couple of verifications just so we could get it through. And then now we'll get to the section when we can obviously start to withdraw it. So you can see here, it says what we've done and how it's gone through. So if we go to wallet and go to overview, we should be showing Great British Pounds, which want to get out. Obviously, if you have Canadian or US dollars, you can just withdraw it straight away. Or whatever currency you have, that's what you need to withdraw. So make sure you do that when you do that. Um, let's just convert this back into Great British Pounds. Right, so as you can see here now, uh, the money is obviously there. And this is saying... That is on the feet and spot, which is fine. So if we click onto here, should go onto this bit. And what we want to do, if you can deposit, you can buy, deposit, withdraw, trade and convert. So this is now our great British pound. So if we go to withdraw, what it should do is it should take it to our bank account so that we can withdraw it into our bank, which is obviously what we want to do. Shouldn't take a minute or two, hopefully, and then it should load up. But what we'll do is obviously we're going to go back and transfer the rest of it over, ready for the next release. So, bank transfer, two Great British pounds transfer fee. So, that's not too bad. Or bank card Visa is going to be one percent transaction fee. So, I mean that's not too bad. Two pounds to do a bank transfer. It's for a faster payment, or you can do it by this, and it takes 1%. So we'll just double check what one is the difference. So what we want to do, let's have a quick look. So say we have 50.18, so 50 pounds 18, and then we're minus 1%, then it's going to only take, so it's 49.6782. So 49.6782. So basically it's going to take 50p off us if we do it the bank card visa way. As opposed to the £2. Depends how tight you are. <laughs> it depends how tight you are. But I'm just going to go this way. Let's just do it this way. So it just says enter the amount and then it's going to put it back onto my card. So it says enter amount. So we'll say we say 50, 18. Insufficient balance. Oh, it's not insufficient, is it? Should we just say 50? 50. 50.10? I guess it's because of the fee. 50.18. It says insufficient, so if we do one five, there you go. So then we're going to get 49.65, so that's pretty good. So we we'll say continue, and then it's just saying that it's going to go to my bank account, and then there's a fee of which we worked out was about 50p, so that's right. So say confirm. And then we have to do the verification code. So that usually sends that to my phone. And then I have to do Authenticator as well. So I don't know if you, you've used this before. Um, let's just check this quickly. So I'll put this code in because it only lasts a certain amount of time anyway. So 7, 
5492. If you don't have Authenticator set up, just download it on your phone. It's really easy to get. And then what that will do is it will just give you a one-time verification code. But you have to be pretty quick at putting it in. Because it will expire. And you just submit. And then what that will do is that will put it through. So it's about to, my code's about to time out, but I think I put it in pretty quick. So withdraw order submitted. So there you go. So that's how you get your money out. So this is how you transfer your money from your WAX account, transfer it over into your Binance, and how you withdraw it back to your bank card. So it says withdraw request submitted, visit history to view your order status, uh, rate your experience. So let's give it a five because you know this is actually pretty decent and then let's just put excellent and go to view history and then hopefully it will just show us what we've been doing how much we spent and stuff like that but that is just how you do it guys so if you've got your wax money in there and you're like oh, you know what i want to get it back out and you don't want it in your account anymore then you can withdraw it and as you can see here it's processing payment methods card it tells you when you've done it so that you've got your whole transaction history there so guys i hope you enjoyed this video just as much as i did making it for you please like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care now bye bye